Hey guys, I'm Mark Hall from York Volunteer Fire Department. Uh, we're going to go through and show you guys our Box 5 Rehab Unit. We're going to make it fast, do quick, give you a roundabout figure with everything we have. Uh, we're going to do it one cut, so if I mess up, you're just going to have to laugh and I'm going to keep your eye on the movement. So let's start right up here. We have uh, six folding chairs. Uh, Rated for 500 pounds, so you hold us bigger, fellas. Uh, we got our uh, canopy, it's a 10 by 10 canopy. We have uh, sides, front and back for it, keep you guys out of the weather. Move on to our next compartment, microwave, uh, 10 gallons worth of fresh water. You have to forgive her, she's dirty right now, we've been busy. This is kind of our catch-all, it's gonna keep our spare water. We have some arrangement to do in here. Uh, push broom, med bag. Gonna go around here to the other side. This compartment here, we're gonna have uh, our diesel can or our kerosene can, seventy thousand uh, BTU Pro Temp uh, forced air heater. Gonna have salt for the scene in case it gets slippery for you guys. We can uh, put it out, keeping salt from falling. In here we're going to have uh, two 50 foot heavy duty extension cords, generator, uh, general purpose toolkit. We'll get into this in a minute, but it's going to have uh, stuff from inside. We have uh, paper towels. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and move to the inside here. Oh, in the door here we have uh, fire extinguishers ready to go. You guys need to grab them or we need to get them for you. They're there. Okay, up inside here. We're gonna have a tote full of uh, coffee supplies, sugar, creamer, such. We have uh, several of these uh, pump crafts. You'll get to see more of them in a few minutes. Fire vest for when we're on our calls. Box five vest for when we're on your calls. Uh, whenever we show up, you'll be able to tell us from everybody else because of the bright orange. Up here we have a few food supplies on this side. We've got cups of noodles. We have towels hand sanitizers, med gloves, Clorox sanitizing wipes. Let's go down here. Spare Nomexes and fire gloves for you guys when you're on scene. In case you lose one, they're soaked. Tore a hole in it. Garbage bags. Can't leave you guys with a mess to clean up when we leave. Just more cups of noodles. Just a small space. We try to take advantage of all of it in here. We're going to keep a few more extra drinks here in the middle for you guys. Um, let's see. Cups for coffee or Gatorade, whatever we have. These are going to be uh, baby wipes for you to wipe your face and hands, arms off. Move on around, we have full size towels. These are going to have cold full-size towels in it for you. Up here we have several packs of hand warmers, plates and spoons. Move on down here. Regular blankets in case we get on a scene and we're out of our disposable blankets. Uh, down here we have full gallons of water. These can be used for drinking or supplying our cooling fans, which you'll see in a little bit large hand sanitizer pump jars. Up here we have snacks. You'll get a just of what we carry with us out there. Napkins, more plates, more food items, more food items and cups. Now if you'll follow me down and outside here, this is our newest addition. It's an eye washing station in case you guys get something in your eyes. We'll have this full ready to go. All you have to do is Drop it, she's already squirting water out for you. Over here we have uh, two two-headed heating units on propane tanks, two cooling fans. These are pretty awesome. Uh, we have an exhaust hose, keep the exhaust away from you guys so when we set up behind the truck here, you don't have to sit there and smell our fumes. Hand washing station, got paper towels, soap's gonna be in it, warm water, push in, push your hands. 
go have a charging station for cell phones. So if you guys are there for a long time or just your phone's dying, we have little octopuses here that charge all, all different types of phones. We have work area lighting, electrical products to plug in stuff. We have cooling towels. These will be uh, in this bucket full of ice water, ready to go for those hot days. Move on now, we have hot or, uh, cooling vests. These are, uh, I think we have eight of these. They have these ice packs. They slide in two in the back, two in the front. You zip them up, they keep you guys nice and cool on the hot days. Spare jersey gloves. More hand sanitizers, hot hand hand warmers. When we roll out, we're gonna have these coolers completely full. These two are gonna have bag dice in it. We have an ice maker on site here. We'll load up bags here. We're gonna put water and Gatorade in this or squincher. We'll be ready to roll. It'll be ice covered when we leave. When we get on scene, if we need to, we can make uh, five gallons of either one of these concentrated Gatorades into these nice e blue coolers we have. This is just a small variety of some of the stuff we might carry with us. We got to a scene once and was asked for Mountain Dew as an energy drink, so uh, we thought that might be a neat idea to carry with us. Plain potato chips, some Slim Jims, Pop Tarts, all kinds of crackers, cups of noodles, granola bars, mints just for pure sugar. We have hot chocolate mix. We have coffee. We're gonna have two coffee pots going for you guys. Um, and we'll have several of these pump crafts that we can have ready for you guys when you walk up. Here's a, the last thing. There's another trash can we have. You guys can get rid of that. So, you guys see anything we missed or anything you think we might need to add, go ahead and leave it in the comments. A few things to think about when you call for us. Never be afraid to call for us. We're always going to roll to you as quick as we can get there, as quick as we can get loaded up and ready. The thing about it is, is uh, you guys need to think about placement, where you're going to put us at once we get on scene. I know you're thinking of a million other things you need to do, but when we get there, we hate to bother you. We would just like to know where to pull in and be, preferably next to an EMT or a squad once we get there. That way, when your guys are sitting down, rest and regaining their bearings, uh, they can come over, check their blood pressure, make sure they're feeling okay, staying hydrated. I'll let you uh, take another final look around at all the things we got, and thank you.